Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings. I'm your hosting guide, Zolan Iron Shield. Okay, I found something online. I do not think this is official from the um, any of the New Line Cinema stuff, and I'm not sponsored by anyone. But I found this online. I thought I'd review it and look at it for you guys. It was on sale. Again, I will link it in the description if it's still sold at the time of this video. But it's pretty cool. It's just a framed picture frame. All right, well, it's got a wire on the back. All right, so this is basically what it is. Um, I'm wearing some gloves because I don't want to get my fingerprints on here because boy, do I get oily fingers. Um, that's just how it is. And um, yeah, it looks really cool. It's very fantastic. So the first things is they have a neat picture up here that I thought really well done with collage. Now, one thing I'd like to point out that I think is quite hilarious is this character right here. This has nothing to do with the Lord of the Rings Peter Jackson adaptation. I believe this is from War in the North. I believe, the video game, War in the North. So I think it's hilarious because they're like, oh look, it's Sauron, we'll put him in. Well, I don't even think that character's supposed to be Sauron from what I remember in War in the North, but it doesn't matter. It looks cool, looks fantastic for the wall. But here's one of my favorite parts. So we have this little spot here, so I'll zoom in. All right, so we have Frodo, Sam, Gandalf, Aragorn, Boromir, Elrond, Saruman, Grima, Arwen, Theoden, all right. I don't know why it says re Theoden. Not sure why it says that. Um, Galadriel. Oh, you can see me. I'm, 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 I'm down there. Uh, Ermer. <laughs> uh, and we have Awen, Bilbo, Celeborn, Legolas, Gimli, Pippin, and Merry. And then over here, we have the dates of when the movies were put out, Peter Jackson's adaptations, right? We have the premiere of December 19th, 2001. I believe these were all correct from when I looked. I uh, just wanted to double check, but December 18th for the Two Towers, 2002. Gosh, it's been a while, hasn't it? Um, Return of the King. I was so small when these came out. December 17th, 2003. Gosh, some of the best movies ever released for sure. And this is starring Elijah Wood as Frodo Baggins, Sean Astin, all of them, right? Vika Mortensen. We can go through all the whole list there. A lot of their iconic names. Orlando Bloom, Christopher Lee as Saruman. And again, a lot of the, the more, it's not all of these people here, but it's a majority of their names. And then it says, you know, written by J.R.R. Tolkien, directed by Peter Jackson, a new line cinema presentation, one ring to rule them all. So again, someone just put this together, some like fun, you know, probably collector's company and stuff. I think it's really nicely done. It's a nice, it, they're, in, they're in set. So if you look, they're kind of like, you can see, well, it's kind of hard with the reflections, but they are in set down into where these are actually kind of in a in a hole all of them right there's like a, a little drop where the gold is so it's i think it's really well done it's a pretty nice frame um it wasn't really super expensive i really like it my <laughs> my mom liked it so much she's like i want it in the living room and i was like i'm not even going to question that if your mom wants a lord of the rings item in the living room you don't question it it just goes in the living room um my mom is a big lord of the rings fan too I, who would have guessed uh, but yeah, so that is about it. It's a pretty nice thing. I will link it down there in the description. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Here's another again, close up a little bit. You can see my reflection. Hi guys. <laughs> uh, pretty cool. There we go. You can see the nice golds in it. Overall, a very nice, um, the print is very high quality. There's a little bit of blurring here where they kind of edited it a little bit, but it's very unnoticeable unless you look really close. Uh, it's quite well done. And again, remember, this is more of the classic originals. I like how they stuck Gimli in right there. And yeah, it's really, I, I'm, I am very, I'm very happy with it. Um, I just got it because I was like, I'll review it and then I'll have it for my collection. And I was like, this is really nice. I should review it for you guys. So what do you guys think? Let me know. Leave a comment. Like, subscribe if you like Lord of the Rings content. And uh, also, I was again, I was wearing these for oils. I don't usually do that when I do my review videos. You know who has really cool gloves when he does reviews? Epic Kingdoms. You should also, after this video is over, and don't forget to like and subscribe. You should also go check out Epic Kingdoms on YouTube. He does a really awesome Lord of the Rings reviewing of different collectibles and stuff as well. So he's got a pretty cool channel. You should check it out. Give him a sub. All right. Anyway, you guys have a great, wonderful day in Middle Earth. I will see you on the next episodes of Voice of the Rings. Stay happy. Baruch Kazad. Kuzad, I menu. See you in the next one, my friends.